guys, today we're doing sound stuff. To be more precise, we'll be doing the turbo sounds, and maybe I'll show you how I've designed Nitro as well. So, first thing first, I've got my sounds right here. So, sound, and this is a passive cue and the upshift cue. Take a uh, listen to the upshift cue, it's pretty simple modulator setup. So, yeah, that's the evolve blowing. And our passive cue, which is a looping wave player actually, in our turbo passive sample. I oh, know it doesn't sound re repetitive, but who cares? We just want to implement it. Now, I've added some audio components, which is the audio shift up cue for the valve blow off and the turbo sound passive cue and then I've assigned this stuff so it's uh, they're pointing to the right cue now let's get into the logic so first things first the passive sound um, if the RPM is greater than our turbo lag threshold we map the range uh, in order to increase the volume and after yeah, we just mapped the range, okay? Between 2000 and 3500 uh, RPMs, we increased volume. After 3500 RPMs, we start increasing the pitch with this uh, function right there till 1.7, and the max RPM is 10,000. So, yeah, that's our max thing. And the rest is uh, logic. So, if uh, the RPMs are low, we set the volume till it eventually reaches zero below 2000 RPMs and if it's more than 3500 we check if, it, if it's playing then we set the pitch uh, if it's playing if it's not playing we play it and then set the pitch after all and yeah so pretty simple stuff now the blow of sound on our variable population no, excuse me. So we've got I've got a gear somewhere. Anyway, so yeah, that's the place. Um, our current gear is set to zero. Now every frame we check if uh, the car just shifted up by comparing our current gear uh, variable with the actual current gear of the car. So if it's an upshift. We do the same thing with the with the one time blow of sound, so we modify the pitch as well, so it's a, la a bigger pitch the more the RPMs are, so it's pretty dynamic, same logic. And we also set the volume, same thing for the pitch logic, so and then we play the sound. Now, no matter what uh, part of the branch we follow, we set the current gear so we update it so we don't play the sound this uh, second time. And that's basically the whole logic. Now, on our engine passive sound, for example, we do the same thing, but we only use the pitch multiplier, and 700 RPM is the minimum for me. So, yeah. And the nitrous, I've, ha I've got, I've hadn't. Uh, apply something to it B and it's just the basic engine engine logic but with another parameter that the nitrous enabled so you can add something like a, a valve shooting air will have the nitrous to give that speed effect so that's basically covers up our some stuff add the queue play it if it's not uh, and it match the requirements, change pitch, change volume, whatever fits you. So see you next time.